Hello students, welcome back to the math class. In our last class, we have discussed some concepts about surface areas and volumes. We have discussed some examples and we have solved some questions from your book. In today's class, we will discuss some more concepts about surface areas and volumes. So, let us start. Students, let us now solve exercise 13.2. Question number 2. It is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter and base diameter 140 centimeter from a metal sheet. How many square meters of the sheet are required for the same? Okay. So, what is given? Height of the cylinder is given. Okay. So, H is equal to 1 meter. Fine. Then base radius of the cylindrical tank, what it should be? It is d by 2. The diameter is given as 140 centimeter. So, r is equal to d by 2 that is 140 centimeter by 2 or 70 centimeter. Okay. Because we are dealing with meter, so let us convert it into meter as 0 0.7 meter. Fine. So, area of the sheet required that is the total surface area of the tank. Why? Because we are making a tank which is closed from top and bottom. So, if the areas of top and bottom of the cylinder is included that means we are going for total surface area of the tank not the curved surface area of the tank. Okay. So, total surface area that is 2 pi r h plus r. Okay? So, we have r as 0 0.7 meter, h as 1 meter and we take pi as 22 by 7. Let us substitute the value. 2 into 22 by 7 into 0 0.7 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.7. So, it is 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 10, 17 by 10. Fine. So, here we find it as 2 into 22 into 17 by 100. So, now it is 2 into 22 into 17 divided by 100 that is equal to 748 divided by 100 or 7.48 meter square. So, for the tank we require 7.48 meter square of sheet. Okay? Hope you understand the solution. Students, let us now solve question number 3. A metal pipe is 77 centimeter long. The inner diameter of a cross section is 4 centimeter, the outer diameter being 4.4 centimeter. You can see the figure, find its inner curved surface area, outer curved surface area, total surface area. Okay? So, let us now discuss the solution. Students, let us now discuss the solution. As per the given data, inner diameter is 4 centimeter. So, inner radius is equal to 4 by 2, 2 centimeters. Let us take inner radius is equal to R1. So, R1 is equal to diameter by 2 that is 4 by 2 or 2 centimeter. Outer diameter is given as 4.4 centimeter. So, outer radius suppose it is r2 so r2 is equal to 4.4 by 2 or 2.2 centimeter fine length of the cylinder pipe is 77 centimeter so what is curved surface area of inner surface of pipe inner curved surface area inner curved surface area 
इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आर वन इज इन डेट टू पाई आर वन एच एच इज फिक्स बिकॉज द हाइट इज सेम फॉर बोथ इनर एंड आउटर ओनली द रेडियस चेंजेस ओके सो इट इज टू इंटू ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इंटू टू इंटू सेवेंटी सेवन ओके बिकॉज हाइट इज सेवेंटी सेवन सो दिस इक्वल्स नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो लेट एस नाउ फाइंड आउट द कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ पाइप ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर साइड इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आर टू एच और टू इन टू ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इंटू टू पॉइंट टू इंटू सेवेंटी सेवन दैट इज सो इट इज टू इंटू ट्वेंटी टू इंटू ट्वेंटी टू बाय टेन ओके सो दिस बिकम्स वन जीरो सिक्स फोर पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो नाउ वी हैव गॉट द कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर साइड एंड कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द इनर साइड ऑफ द पाइप सो वॉट शुड बी द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द पाइप कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ इनर सर्फेस प्लस कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर सर्फेस एंड एरिया ऑफ बोथ सर्कुलर एंड ऑफ पाइप ओके सो टोटल सर्फेस एरिया इज इक्वल टू कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ इनर सर्फेस प्लस कर्व सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ आउटर सर्फेस प्लस एरियाज ऑफ बोथ सर्कुलर एंड ऑफ पाइप Fine. We have found out curved surface area of outer and inner surfaces. Fine. So, what is the area of the both ends of the cylinder? Okay. We need to find out two pi r two square minus r one square. Why? Why is it so? See. the area of circle is pi r square okay just discuss this now then we will go ahead with the solution you need to understand it in a better way okay so students suppose this is a circle and this is the inner one okay now this is the center and this is r1 which is your inner radius and this is r2 which is the outer radius okay so for finding out we are just going to find out the area of this part because this is hollow because this is a pipe okay so we need to find out the area of the shaded portion okay what is the area for the bigger circle that is pi r2 square okay what is for the smaller one pi r1 square okay so for this part we need to subtract which will give us pi r2 square minus r1 square okay this is for one end of the pipe so the total surface area would be 968 plus 1064.8 plus 2 pi r2 square minus r1 
square. Why? Because pi r2 square minus r1 square is the area for the one end of the pipe. So, for both the ends, it 2 is being multiplied. Okay. So, 968 plus 1064.8 plus what is R2? 2.2. 2. So, 2 into 22 by 7 whole multiplied by 2.2 square minus 2 square. Okay. That is equal to 2032.8 okay plus 2 into 22 by 7 into 484 minus 4. So, students, this equals 2032.8 plus 2 into 22 by 7 into this is 0 0.84 2032.8 plus 2 into 22 by 7 into 84 by 100 so 2032.8 plus 2 into 22 into 12 by 100 so this is 2032 Point 0.8 plus when we calculate this it will be equal to 5.28 so this becomes 2038.08 centimeter square so total surface area will be 2038.08 centimeter square hope you understand this students let us now Solve question number 4. It says the diameter of a roller is 84 centimeter and its length is 120 centimeter. It takes 500 complete revolutions to move once over to level a playground. Find the area of the playground in meter square. Okay. So, what is given? Diameter of a roller is 84 centimeter and its length is 120 centimeter. So, D is 84 centimeter and L is 120 centimeter. Fine. So, R is equal to D by 2 that is 84 by 2 that is 42 centimeter. Fine. So, the question says it takes 500 complete revolutions to move once over to level a playground. Just think, what does it mean? What does the, it mean by one complete revolution? What the roller does while it takes one complete revolution? Students, suppose this is the roller because it is also cylindrical in shape. This is a cylinder. Okay, When it lies down, it becomes like this. Now, suppose this is the roller and it takes one complete revolution. That means it is covering its own curved surface area, isn't it? While taking one complete revolution, the cylinder takes or it covers its curved surface area. So, to find out the area covered by 500 complete revolutions, we need to find out the curved surface area of the cylindrical shaped roller. Okay? So, in this case, curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h. Again, we have already discussed this h is nothing but the length because it is lying down. The cylinder is lying down. That means it is the length which is actually the height of the cylinder. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into 42 into 120. So, 7, 6 are. So, when we multiply, we get 31680 centimeter square. So, this is the curved surface area of the roller. So, what should be the area of the field? 
because the roller is completing 500 revolutions that means area of the field is equal to 500 into 31688 centimeter square. Okay, 1584 0000 centimeter square. Fine, but this is not the answer for the question because it says find the area of the playground in meter square. So, we need to convert this centimeter square into meter square. Students, 1 meter square is equal to centimeter square. Okay. So, we need to divide this by 10,000. So, area is equal to 1584000 by 10,000. It is 1584 meter square. Fine. So, the area of the playground is 1584 meter square. Hope you understand the solution. Students, let us now discuss question number 5. It says a cylindrical pillar is 50 centimeter in diameter and 3.5 meter in height. Find the cost of painting the curved surface of the pillar at the rate of rupees 12.50 per meter square. Okay. So, let us now discuss the solution for this problem. Okay. So, it is given height of the pillar is 3.5 meter. So, H is equal to 3.5 meter. Okay. Students, the diameter of the pillar is given as 50 centimeter. Okay. So, the radius will be d by 2 or 50 by 2 that is 25 centimeter. Okay. We need to convert it to meter. So, it is 0 0.25 meter. Okay. So, what is curved surface area? Because we need to paint the curved surface area. So, we need to find out the curved surface area of the pillar. So, curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h that is 2 into 22 by 7 into 0 0.25 into 3.5. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into 25 by 100 into 35 by 10. Okay. So, this is 2 into 22 into 25 into 5 by 1000. Okay. So, when we calculate this will become 5.5 .5 meter square. Okay. So, the curved surface area of the pillar is 5.5 .5 meter square. Now, what is the cost? The cost for painting is 12.50 per meter square. So, let us find out the total cost of the painting. Okay? Students, cost of painting for 1 meter square area is 12.50. So, cost of painting for 5.5 5 meter square is equal to 12.50 into 5.5 5. that is equal to 68.75. So, 68 rupees 75 paisa or rupees 68.75 is the cost of painting the curved surface area of the pillar. Okay. Hope you understand this. Students, let us now discuss question number 7. Okay. It says, the inner diameter 
of a circular well is 3.5 meter. It is 10 meter deep. Find its inner curved surface area. The cost of plastering this curved surface at the rate of rupees 40 per meter square. Okay. So, let us now discuss the solution. Students, it is given that the diameter of the circular well is 3.5 meter. So, D is 3.5 meter. So, let us find the radius for that. So, R will be equal to D by 2 that is 3.5 divided by 2. Okay. So, 3.5 divided by 2 is 1.75 meter. Fine. So, radius of the well is 1.75 meter. Okay. The depth of the well is given. So, think about it. What is depth? It is nothing but the height. Okay. It is given as 10 meter. So, depth is 10 meter. So, what is inner curved surface area? 2 pi r h. So, Two pi r h. So, what is the value of pi? It is twenty two by seven. Okay. So two pi r h. Let us substitute the values. So two into twenty two by seven into one point seven five into ten. That is two into twenty two by seven into one seven five by hundred into ten. So it is equal to 2 into 22 into 175 divided by 70. Okay. So, when we calculate, you can calculate it, it will be 110 meter square. Fine. So, 110 meter square is the inner curved surface area of the well. Okay. So, the next question says that the cost of plastering this curved surface area at the rate of rupees 40 per meter square. Okay? Let us find it out. Students, it is given that cost of plastering the curved surface area is rupees 40 per meter square. per meter square. We have found out the curved surface area is 110 meter square. So, total cost will be rupees 40 into 110. Rupees 4400. Okay. Rupees 4400. So, it is the cost of plastering the curved surface area of the well. Okay? Hope you have understood this. Students, let us now solve question number 8. It says, in a hot water heating system, there is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meter and diameter 5 centimeter. Find the total radiating surface in the system. Okay? So, let us discuss the solution. What is given? The length of the cylindrical pipe. That means it is nothing but the height. It is 28 meter. So, height is equal to 28 meter. Okay. And the radius, we need to find out the radius. So, what is given? The diameter. Diameter is 5 centimeter. So, radius is 5 by 2, that is 2.5. 5. Okay. 2.5 centimeter. What is 2.5 centimeter? 0 0.025 meter. Okay. So, now we have radius and height. Now, let us find out the curved surface area of the pipe. So, curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h and when we substitute we get 2 into 22 by 7 into 0 0.025 into 28. 
that is 2 into 22 by 7 into 25 by 1000 into 28. So, that is equal to 22 by 5 or 1 meter square. Okay? So, the area of the radiating surface of the system is 4.4 meter square. Students, you need to understand that the radiating surface means the outer part or the curved surface. So, students, the curved surface area is found to be 4.4 meter square. Hope you have understood this. Students, this is the end of today's class. In our next class, we will discuss some more concepts about cylinder and we will go ahead with the chapter. Okay? So, till then, revise everything that we have discussed today and keep practicing. Keep smiling. Thank you.